For the job-starved Mexican economy, the maquiladoras provide a much-needed shot in the arm. All along our common border from Texas to San Diego, factories are employing thousands of workers in hundreds of plants. The maquiladora program attracts companies from all over the world. Because of the low labor costs and minimal environmental controls, companies are here from Japan, Taiwan, Korea, and the United States. What's resulted is a job explosion. 157,000 new jobs since 1983, many of them in the Tijuana Baja region. But this economic silver cloud has a dark lining. This mesa is filled with maquiladora plants. And as you can see, this large drainage pipe for the factories, like many more which line this mesa, points in this direction. To this river valley, filled with homes. These drain pipes were built to handle sewage from the factories. But we believe factories are dumping chemicals, solvents, into the system. We spoke to nearby residents. They complained about chemical-like smells of late-night dumping, of seeing grass and other vegetation literally burning up when touched by whatever is coming out of these drain pipes. Because he feared reprisals, this factory worker would only talk if we didn't reveal his face. What's your biggest concern about the factory? Well, I just want to see what can be done about the three pipes that drain down here. From these pipes, you get all the water from the industrial area. And a lot of the time, the water contains toxics from the plants. This is what bothers me the most. If you could smell what you're seeing, you'd smell sewage. Five years ago, this was a dry rock quarry. That's standing sewage, up to 20 feet in some places, we're told. No doubt, Tijuana has a tough time handling its sewage problem. We're all very much aware of what happens with sewage and raw, untreated sewage coming out, which has certain health effects, uh, primarily those of infectious diseases, whereas toxic chemicals can have far more devastating effects, potentially, depending on the nature of the chemicals that are being released. Because of the layout of the land, everything in the Tijuana Basin flows northward across our border. Experts are concerned, including Dr. Jack Conway, who was involved in an extensive survey of the Tijuana River area. In my estimation, when you look at San Diego and Tijuana, they're not going to get any smaller, and the industrialization process is not probably going to get uh, smaller. It's going to be magnified, so the potential is going to grow. Somebody ought to be looking at the problems in terms of human and animal involvement in the byproducts of, of industrial processes and making decisions about uh, trying to contain this material if, in fact, it's getting out. Tomorrow, we investigate the concerns of parents who think their children are being harmed by factory waste, and we'll show you the shocking results of some laboratory tests. These dramatic pictures typify the problem. Workers in a battery factory melting lead, some with protective masks, others without, unaware of the potential danger. Maquiladora system is good for the Mexican economy and for the companies involved. But what price, health-wise, will these workers pay someday? And what price are we going to pay? These are the children of the valley. Above them on the mesa are maquiladoras. The factory drain pipes built to handle sewage waste point down into the valley. But it's not just sewage that goes through those pipes, down the sides of the mesa and through the valley. And from there into the Tijuana River Basin, eventually moving northward into San Diego County. We believe the sewage pipes also rid factories of solvents, chemicals. Villagers tell us of chemical-type smells at night when the lines are flushed into the valley. These photographs show the extensive sewage system under the factories, a system that ends where the drain pipe pokes out on the side of the mesa, even though the photos show a continuation of the pipeline. 
Apparently, it was supposed to tap into the already overburdened central sewage system. We quietly gathered soil and water samples from 11 different locations in the valley and from around the factories, including ponds used to water livestock, deep water wells, standing water in the village, even milk from a nearby dairy. We were looking for metals, zinc, lead, copper, and others. To ensure impartial testing, the samples are identified only by a number. Results are compared to what the city of San Diego considers safe limits for industrial waste sewage. Lab director Peter Shen tells us about the sample from one livestock pond. The level of the lead and zinc that we picked up on sample number, number five, I think, is a lot higher than the limit that the city of San Diego allow an industry to dump into the sewer system. Milk and deep well samples are inconclusive, but samples taken from standing water near factory drain pipes, water that children may play in or their parents may wash clothes in, shows lead levels double the amount considered safe for industrial waste sewage and zinc levels six times above what is considered a safe level. Adding to our concern are parents' complaints about children suffering skin rashes, irritations. We spoke with several parents this night and returned later with medical doctor Jim Aldrich. As he said, he itches so much that he cries at night. And uh, when they scratch that much, they tend to break down the skin and get secondary infections. And <laughs> What's kind of characteristic about this is that you almost can see burrows. You see lines here, and it looks like something's burrowed up here, and something's burrowed across here. You can see lines, and I would I would call this uh, scabies. To come to some medical decision after seeing a small number of children is difficult at best. Dr. Aldrich candidly told us he couldn't really come to a solid conclusion. We also tried to interview the medical clinic located in the valley about the children's skin problems, but they wouldn't talk to us. The medical evidence we gathered is inconclusive, but that doesn't mean there isn't a problem. The fact is, no coordinated effort has ever been made to investigate the potential health risks. What happens is if we sit back and say, well, we'll wait till we have an accident, which is a horrible thing to do, is that at that point, it'll be too expensive and, and too large a magnitude to do anything. The process is happening right before our eyes, and the byproducts of industrialization, if they're not properly contained, you know, can offset all the advantages.